we had made an observation during the recording of the reading and teaching the summary for the six uh, uh, sabbatical uh, reading, which is called Tuledim Yichinon Bamarinya, or in the Hebrew, Toledot. Toledot. And we had observed the relationship of our black Hebrew. Really, the Hebrews were black, but just to qualify it for those who may have been um, adversely affected by, you know, the whitewashing of the imagery of the Bible, of our black Hebrew matriarch. And of the matriarchs in the Bible, especially in the Old Testament, the first book of the Bible, which provides us the foundation, because there's a lie. There's many lies, but there's a, there's a great lie, and this is, this is for the sisters. You know, saying this is some of the, the the matriarchal, the true matriarchal teachings for Aras Tefari are not based on various and diverse pseudo African cultures and customs. You understand, but it's based on the B I B L E, the basic instructions before liberating Ethiopia, before leaving Earth, the Earth vibe and coming to the heavenly vibe. That the Bible, you understand is our basic instruction. And many of the sisters, the women, the, the females, you understand, a lot of the daughters, they believe that somehow the Bible is, is sexist. And this has often kind of come up, especially among those daughters who really, maybe from childhood, did not really have the opportunity to get rooted and grounded, you understand, scripturally and biblically and in the true um, testimony of Gitachina met Hanatachin Jesus Christos. So it's important for us to to focus, you understand, on all aspects of our father's house. You understand? And 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 focusing on our father's house, in our father's house there are many mansions. A mansion is a dwelling place. Some may call it an apartment, uh, so to speak. You understand? But it says in our father's house there are many mansion. A mansion is like you could say a room, you understand, but a space to dwell and a space to live. And we need to remember the old adage that if you educate a man, they say, you educate an individual. <clears throat> but if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. In other words, there's, there's a high importance on that education, needs to be on that education of our of our daughters, of our sisters, of our mothers, of our wives. You understand? But it begins from us being sisters and brothers as rebirthed or newborn sons and daughters. And when a baby is born, a baby is born as a child. So from our childhood, our rebirthed, reborn again childhood state, we must gain a knowledge and become knowledgeable in the Holy Scriptures. And it's so important to become knowledgeable in the Holy Scriptures because there's so many lies that we all have heard. You understand whether in pop Christianity, you understand, or whether in um, just the world. We hear a lot of lies biblically. You know, some of the overt, obvious lies have, have been and are being dispelled, such as the true humanity of Christ, that Christ's true humanity is as a black man. That's the humanity of Christ. Therefore, his, the, Christ's mother, it is in the Maria, she also is a black woman. We kind of should know that from the old record of the black virgin Mary, in other words, the black Madonna. But then they have a black Madonna, and then they have a lily white baby, and you have to wonder, well, what's going on here? You know, what kind of thing is this? You see what I'm saying? They said it was no human seed. It was God's seed. So what kind of thing is this? You have to understand the psychology of these images. You understand these images. This is why some of the images that we have been utilizing, as you may have seen, some of them may be from various sources, even from ones that we had to rebuke on certain issues, like Dr. York and the Nawabians, concerning specifically his imperial majesty and that Ethiopic level of knowledge. You understand? But on the basic biblical level and the basic ministry to to address the counterfeit 
image of the humanity of the people of the Bible, the whitewash, because that's, that's very important. You really have to understand. If we could do this ministry, especially as a video, in, in the video form and word pictures, and not have to use pictures of anything, because somehow we would be able to, when you heard the word, you would be reflecting on the proper you understand, image in the church, that would be wonderful, but that's not the world we're living in. We're living in a world where a lot of us, even from childhood, have been fed disinformation and misinformation. So once again, to the sisters, we would like to focus a series for the sisters one time in the early days of Line of Judah ministry, while we were still much more, maybe, novices much more unlearned and, 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 and un, unstable in the word. Even then we recognized that importance and there was something that we did at that particular level. We called it um, Ethiopian woman, 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 like woman education, Ethiopian woman education. Because some basic things that a lot of the sisters, the daughters, because remember we are, we are, born into this world of sin, this world that falls short of the glory of God, and many of us grow up in that fashion. But as we seek truth, we must seek and hopefully find the full truth. See, when we find the full truth, it's going to start to address every aspect, every facet, every area of our lives. Like we say to a lot of brothers and sisters when they ask, well, how do you know, like the, the Holy Spirit, the Memphis Caduce is with you? You understand? How, how do you know that it's the Holy Spirit? If the Holy Spirit is, according to your knowledge, rebuking or reproving you things about things scripturally speaking, not giving you a guilt trip, but reminding you, you got to work on this. You got to work on that. You got to you got to check. It. You got to pray on this. You got to pray on that. You understand? You got to seek out information on this or information on that. That's the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit is going to rebuke you first. You understand? It's going to rebuke you, but the word is so important to have. You see, because that's your reference point in the teachings of his imperial majesty. If you don't have that much of a reference point in the teachings of his imperial majesty, you probably will find it will be men and people, you know, brothers and sisters out there who may be rebuking you or reproving you about those certain things that the Holy Spirit shows them. You understand? But once you have begun to... To, to grow as a child and become knowledgeable in the Word and, and learn how to pray and, and learn how to meditate and, and learn how to sing thanks and praise and to really walk scripturally in the real way. In other words, the Word becoming flesh in your own flesh, you understand, you start to see and know through your mind's eye, your soul, that you're beginning to reform certain ways. But it, it's, it's spiritual. This is the thing. A lot of people just look at the outer. You understand? And just judge it on the outer, and we're told not to judge by appearances. But the matriarchy teachings is so important, because like we said a little bit earlier, and we've kind of gone a little bit away from that and to focus, because we want to give one the overview of what we're saying, because some folks may not know where we're coming from with this, and it's important for them to know where we're coming from, what's the rootage, what's the source, and also what is the trajectory. The trajectory is overstanding. And because of the lies and dissemination against the Bible, the Bible is somehow a patriarchal book. Many of you have probably heard that the Old Testament is patriarchal. And if you're doing that Israelite thing or that Old Testament thing, Old Testament Christianity is patriarchal. Some will even tell you the New Testament is patriarchal too. Most of you haven't read and studied the Word for yourself. When you do, you'll find out how much of a lie that is. And in this particular sabbatical study, we are in the Toledot, uh, which begins off at uh, Genesis 25 and 19. And in that bait, in that section and portion, it shows how our ancestress, Rebecca, or Rebecca, the one who had the twins, in her. These twins were Esau and Yaakov, or Jacob and Esau. How they were contending, they were warring with each other in her womb, in her belly. She felt like there was a war going on in her. That her, her womb had turned into a place of strife and conflict. 
can't even imagine what that feel what 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 that must have been like for our ancestors for for this one blessed and beautiful daughter of Sarah. That's who you sisters are supposed to be, the true Arastafari daughters, mothers, wives, and sisters are supposed to be daughters of Sarah. But in order to even know what that means, you need to be taught about it, but you need to become teachable. You know what I'm saying? You need to have a desire to learn because someone can tell you something, but if you don't want to hear it, you're not going to hear it. So this is for those who want to hear it. We're going to address and start to address a matriarchal teaching. In other words, the matriarchal teaching or the teaching concerning the daughters and the sisters based on the scriptures. And even take on some of the, the, the hard questions that you may have tried to get answers and never got answers for. So now, 